Welcome back to Tabletop. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas break. And for today's video, I want to catch up on a lot of news that we've been missing out in the last few weeks due to celebrations being one of the worst releases I've ever had to done. But it's almost done now and everyone should be finalized. I shipped off all the rest of the orders. So hopefully, hopefully nothing gets sent back again. Hopefully nothing bad happens in the interim. And we just finished the Digimon release too. So that was pretty cool. But for today's video, we're going to catch up on some of the news that has been evading us a little bit because I just haven't had time to uh, cover them. The first thing I want to talk about is the EV VMAX collections. Now, the EMAX, you know, the EV VMAX collections are the Jolteon VMAX, the Vaporeon VMAX, and the Flareon VMAX collections. Now, the VMAX actually are the alternate artworks from the Raffles, which are a different artwork altogether, which was... Uh, only given as raffle prizes over in Japan, but for us, they're inside box sets, making them easier and more accessible. Of course, the Japanese one will be more expensive overall because they're raffle prizes and these you can just go into a store and buy. I'm sure all you guys over in Europe are wondering, where the hell is ours? Because we're already starting to see product from the EU, uh, from, no, sorry, from the from the US popping up and everyone's just been really jealous asking, Trent, where exactly is the VMAX collections of the EVs? And I'm like, Take it up with uh, the UK, take it up with Europe. I don't know what's going on with the supply chain, but they certainly are behind. Uh, December is literally one of the worst months to ship anything. And they have been delayed now to the middle of next month, I believe, which is what the estimate time frame I've been given from my UK suppliers, sadly. But, you know, better late than never and all that. If you guys are to buy any of these, I suggest that the VMAX collection be on your list. They will retain their value. If anything, they'll go up. They'll be difficult to obtain. And I just think overall, if you're going to pick anything to buy in the upcoming year, this is definitely the ones to have because they're never going to make anything like it again. And in terms of allocations, we have been told that we have, what, three cases of these that we're allowed to pre-order. But that doesn't actually mean that we're going to get three cases of them. Each case has six units, so two of each. So in the end, we're going to have 18 altogether, meaning that we have six of each, hopefully, at the shop. Not currently available for pre-order or sell on our site because I don't know how many we're going to get. I don't want to uh, disappoint people, as you guys all know. But we'll see how the story pans out and we'll open up pre doors as soon as they get confirmation on that. The next thing I want to talk about is the Hoopa boxes. The Hoopa V Max or V Union, I believe. Yeah. No, just Hoopa V box. God damn, there's so many flipping things they're adding to the end of these things that's just hard to keep up. But Hoopa V boxes are coming around the same time as the V Max collections. They've been delayed by the same amount in the UK. However, we have a supply of them coming next uh, week, actually. They were shipped out this week by our EU suppliers. And we're getting a couple of them into our shop next week. And once they arrive in the shop, they'll be listed as such. However, I highly doubt they'll be <laughs> with you before the Christmas time because of the breaks and all the other nonsense that happens around those three days. But the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is something rather big, which is the Brilliant Star. People have been messaging me asking about buying cases, about when are they coming, what's happening with the Brilliant Stars. And to be honest with you, Brilliant Stars is just going to be one of the bigger sets in the upcoming year because the most similar thing we have to it is the cosmic eclipse because they have the character rares however brilliant stars is based a little bit off of the vmax climax set it's a horrible name sure it is what it is over in japan which has over 100 character rares so which are inside the uncommon slot some of which are secret character rares which is the vmax climax pikachu with red so many different things but over 100 of them in total now we're not going to get all 100 inside brilliant stars there's no way that's going to happen. I think they're going to space it out in all the holiday sets. So Brilliant Star comes out on February, I believe. And it will have around 200-ish cards or more. But it won't have all of it. There is going to be a set in March, I believe, for a holiday set, which is last year or this year in particular was uh, Shining Fates. I don't know what's it going to be for us this year, next year coming, because it hasn't had any information as of yet. But hopefully it comes out, and I'm guessing there's going to be some there. I have recently received intel that there's going to be a summer holiday set as well. In the summer, of course, along with our Christmas set or holiday set or, you know, winter holiday set for next year. So there's going to be three holiday sets for next year. And I think they're going to space those out with all the character rares along with their Brilliant Stars as well. That is my guess on it. And Brilliant Star is more similar to Cosmic Eclipse, but it's like yeah, Shining Fates in a little bit, in a way. Because Shining Fates was a sequel to Hidden Fates because it had the baby shinies and the big shinies. However, they turned it up to 11 because they multiplied the amount of shinies inside it by so much and there was over 100 things to collect in Shining Fates. So here's the thing. 
it's going to be extremely fun to open. It's going to be really cool to see on camera, but it won't be work very much. I think Cosmic Eclipse will be worth a lot more in the long term because I think Brilliant Stars won't be as cool. And it's going to suffer from the same drawbacks as Shining Fates did uh, to Hidden Fates. But that's just my personal opinion on it. We have been told supply-wise is that we're not going to be able to get very much. Very sad. The people in the UK has told me that I'm not allowed to pre-order any of them because I didn't pre-order any Fusion Strike for them. Because I've been pre-ordering my main sets from the EU due to the fact that the UK costs so much money. And the customs of that and everything just makes it even less appealing. So when I asked them about buying a few a, ten, a few cases of these, they're like, nope, can't do it. Uh, you can buy the next one, though, which is fine, whatever. I just bought a few off the EU suppliers, and hopefully they will come true, and we'll be able to buy some of them and sell to all you guys as that becomes available. And I'll give you more information as I find out more about it. Just know that there's going to be a severe limitation to Brilliant Stars uh, from a distributor level in all regards. And yeah, hopefully it'll be less bad than I think it's going to be but I won't help my brand for now. Pre-orders of that from our website won't be up for a little bit anyway, so I'll inform you guys about that when it actually becomes available, which is why we're going to move on to our last product, which is the Brilliant Star Leafeon V-Star, along with the Brilliant Star Glaceon V-Star box set, which is going to come around the same time as the V-Star, uh, the Brilliant Star set. Not as cool as the uh, EV VMAX collection, I'm not gonna lie. There's no alternate artworks, just plain kind of promo cards with the... Technically, they are alternate works, but they don't have the texture, they don't have the coolness to it, there's no coin. Basically, a jumbo card with two promos, V and VMAX respectively, along with four booster packs. Brilliant star, probably. In terms of recommending this one, I think it is worthwhile to pick up one or two, because it's going to be in very high demand and short supply. So... I told you guys how I got like uh, potentially three cases of the VMAX collections, right? In terms of the Brilliant Star collections, I'm only getting one case from a UK supplier that hasn't been available for a pre-order yet from our EU suppliers. Hopefully, once that comes out, I can buy a bit more and sell it to all you guys. But uh, there might only be one from each for the channel and then four for, to buy for the website, which is, dear, very sad. How is a bad man to make a, make a living when they give you so little product and people just want more? I don't know. I don't understand. But it is what it is. And that is basically all the Pokemon news I want to cover for today anyway. I believe there's a couple of other bits and pieces I want to update on as time goes by in a couple of days as we figure out a little bit more. But that is essentially everything Pokemon related. There will be Digimon stuff tomorrow, I believe, along with some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff the day afterwards. But yeah, that's our video for today, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to like the video and comment down below maybe subscribe a little bit for the channel and if you want to support the business and the channel please be sure to check out tabletop.ie but until next time everyone thanks for watching